Uh, hi guys, Blake here today, Lily's Landing Resort and Marina. On the one and only beautiful Lake Tani Como. It's the 14th of June. Today, I'm gonna drown a Nightcrawler. So I've got this, I picked some of the bigger minnows out of the box. I've got this minnow threaded onto the hook. So you take the hook and you punch it through the little center lateral line and you go from side to side until you get down to the mouth. And I pop it, I pop that one through the eyeball there and ran the hook back inside, and pulled the line tight. It's gonna face that minnow upstream and kind of put it in the position that the fish wanna eat it head first. It takes a little bit more time to do it this way, but I think it gets better hook sets, to be honest with you. So, I've got that on an eighth ounce drift rig from the office. Started right at the River Bluff Estates boat ramp. Captain Rick Lysak came back a little two hour trip this morning when the one unit was running. And they, they drug night crawlers up right here in the same area. Had a good bite. <clears throat> We're just going to see if we can get anything to take a minnow today. They just turned the water up to two units about, let's say, they kicked it on a little early, about 30 minutes ago. Water's pretty trashed right here. But, uh... <clears throat> at 11, they're supposed to kick it on to the three units, and they're supposed to maintain three units for the rest of the day after that. feels like they may have went ahead and bumped it early because this eighth ounce weight I'm having to slow the boat down to keep it on the bottom Nothing on the first cast. There's a lot of moss in the water. I just want to make sure <laughs> I don't have a string of moss dragging off my minnow here. And I did not. Some of my line pulled through my minnow though.
Gonna be warm again today, back in the 90s for this afternoon. Yesterday I had a last second trip in the evening for two hours. People got canceled on at Table Rock and they were just, the mother was looking to get her son fishing for the evening. And uh, last night the trout preferred a size 12 scud over the 14s or the 16s. And first cast, the mom caught a 20 incher and then the next one was a 17 incher for the for the young kid, and well, they caught quite a few fish right there in that little two hour stretch. And we stayed up by the dam. I can't believe I only had one bite. <clears throat> I will say though, fishing in water that this, that's trash like this, you know. It's not good. The fish are sitting down there with all that trash going past their face too. And just a lot better when it's clear. So even if I don't catch a minute or a fish on a minute a day, it doesn't mean that they're not working. It just means my one cast timing was terrible. Check it one more time here. Nope. 
Everything still looks good there. There's that elusive phone call during the one cast. Sorry, Mike Riffle. I'll call you back, buddy. on to the Short Creek Flat now. I was really expecting most of the action to come in that deeper stretch above by Long Dock there, so I'm not too terribly hopeful that this is going to work on the flat, but let's see. the moss. My one cast timing is just terrible sometimes. Hey, what are you up to, man? Oh, just doing the one cast video for the day. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah, it's because they just kicked the water on. You see all that trash floating in the water? Yeah. Once it clear once it once it clears up it'll be a little bit better. I got a minnow on here right now. The girls always win, just get used to it. The mom on my trip last night won too, so
know how much longer we're gonna go today, guys. I'll come back out again whenever the, oh, oh, dang it, I missed him. Your guide, your guide must not have sharpened your hook this morning. <laughs> I gave her an old That just came on the hook, man. You got, you got so blessed. If I do something like that, it'd wrap every one of them rods up and I'd be cutting all the line off. And... That's awesome. <laughs> She's trying to take it easy on these boys. Yeah, uh-huh. Go in along the, the wood pile here. See if we can get some action right there on that spot. There are always fish near this log jam over here. Ready to drop off into the deeper water here. I'm gonna lose some connection at the bottom. Two good bites. That was about it. I'll go just a. I'll go until Trout Hollow. Honestly, at this point, I think a heavier weight would be a little bit better here. This water's like 15, 16 foot deep right here, and I'm just not feeling the bottom hardly. And I'm even slowing the boat down and letting line out. So. Well, we made it to Trout Hollow.
No fish day for me today. Thank you guys for watching. Like and share us on Facebook. See you again tomorrow.